everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Today is just going to be another quick video, hopefully quicker than the last one I did that I said it was going to be quick. But anyway, this I was tagged by Etna Mitchell. She's a super, super sweet lady. She has a channel on YouTube. She does uh, clothing unboxing, unboxings, uh, beauty unboxings. She does some fantastic get ready with me. Just an awesome, awesome lady. So anyway, she tagged me in a get to know me video with 14 questions. So I think I can handle 14 questions. So anyway, we'll give that a try. And then at the end, I'm going to tag three people as well. So I've got my list here. So I'm going to read off it because I don't want to miss anything. First one's a wicked easy question. What month were you born? I was born in June. I was a June baby. What is your zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. What is your worst subject? This one, I don't really know if people would call this a subject, but to me, my worst subject was a gym. Yeah. I was terrible at gym. I am not athletic. I'm not graceful. I had the worst trouble. One year, we had to climb a rope, and so I got to the top of the rope, and I could not get down. So I, we had uh, the boys and the girls, we had kind of shared the gym together. So the boys teacher and the girls teacher had to climb up on ropes next to me and guide me down step by step. That was the last time that they ever made me do anything, and if it weren't for inspection, I would have flunked. Jim, worst subject ever. Of course, I was a geek, so Jim, worst, worst, worst subject ever. Alrighty, my favorite cereal. I haven't had cereal in years, but I used to love raisin nut brand. So it was uh, like a raisin brand, but the nuts were like coated with a nut. Those were good. My favorite color. I really don't have a favorite color, but I, I like pinks, purples, and blues. Those are probably my favorite colors. My favorite sandwich. Well, back when we were living in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, there was a pizza place called Teddy's Pizza. And they used to make a sandwich, which is actually what now I would call a calzone, but they called it a sandwich. And it was a spinach pie. And I know it doesn't sound good, but oh my gosh, it was so good. So it was spinach and ricotta cheese, and it had uh, some spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce in it, some pepperoni and some sausage, and oh my God, it was so good. Hands down, my favorite sandwich. I haven't had it in 25 years or so, and I am still thinking about it, so you know it was good. Um, my favorite car. Don't really have a favorite car. I mean, if I had all the money in the world, I have no idea what I would get. Uh, but my favorite car, um, when, my, when I met my husband, I had a 65 Mustang that was given to me. He had a 70 Mustang. I had a beat up Toyota and he had a common gear. And I used to love riding around in his common gear. It was a convertible and he actually taught me part of the reason that we went out because he was going to teach me how to, I called it clutch it car driving. It was a standard and it was in uh, his common gear. So it was a nice burgundy color, common gear with a convertible. Love that car. Alrighty, my favorite board game. Not really a board game person, but I said I was a geek. So I guess my favorite board game was chess. Yeah, I, I was not popular. I joined the chess club once because I thought that would make me popular, but it was just all people that I hung around with anyway, because we were geeks. Um, let's see, where did I grow up? I grew up in a small town in Mansfield, Massachusetts. It was probably about halfway between Providence, Rhode Island and Boston, Massachusetts. Just a really, really nice small town. My favorite Disney character. I'm gonna go with Pluto because I like puppies and Pluto was always kind of fun and kind of klutzy. Who is your hero? So I'm gonna have to say my husband was my hero. He was um, probably the bravest person I knew he probably went had more pain and had more surgeries than anyone that I know. Um, you know, he survived 10 heart attacks. Um, well, yeah, he survived the 10 heart attacks. Um, he ended up having both legs amputated. Um, there were times when we were in the hospital every two to three months with another um, bypass. Um, I, don't, I don't even know how many times, I think they had to move his aorta like three times. Um, just clotting issues. He only had one kidney that was failing at the end and uh, dementia and and he just carried on and my so he was he will always be my hero, my husband. 
So have you ever performed on stage? Well, back in, you know, elementary school, we would have to do choirs, you know, choir things like Christmas pageants, and we would go to, like, the nursing homes. I don't even know if kids do that anymore. But we would go to, like, the area nursing homes and do little skits and songs for them, and that was always fun. I played trombone in the band, um, in the high school band, and um, there were two of us, uh, Simon, O'Leary, and myself, that were the tr trombonists. And probably, you wouldn't think this, but back in the fourth grade, I was kind of little. And so, you know, the trombone, you had to go out like this. Well, I couldn't hit the last note. Um, so I would kind of sh push it out like this, get my note, and then tilt my trombone back up to uh, bring it back down. And, of course, sometimes I missed, and I would hit the people in front of me, or it would fly off. So we were doing a band concert one year, and Simon, I, he was like in the Eagle Scouts or something, so he was gone. And so I was the only trombonist, and I had a solo. And so when it came time to do my trombone solo, you know, we've got Mr. Gallo, the director, he's up doing, you know, his book, you know, things like this, and you go, you go. So when it came to me, he went like this. Yeah. So I, I didn't uh, hit anybody. I went like this, and I got the note and brought it back down. Nobody got hurt. We also did... Um, I was very outgoing as a child, yeah. I, I have no idea what happened to me. But um, some of the neighborhood kids and I, we would uh, put on little skits and sell like tickets for five cents for people to come and watch us do little plays and stuff that we put in our garage. But today, if you asked me to go on stage, I would, I would just sit there and cry. I would be like traumatized. Yeah, I can't do it today. Uh, I went to public schools my whole life. My celebrity crushes. Oh, well, I think I'm supposed to do one, but my younger days, it would have been Donny Osmond with Puppy Love. Yeah, I don't I don't know a girl that isn't my age that didn't have a crush on Donny Osmond. Um, growing up later, I've got a couple here. So I've got Robert Redford in his day, Sam Elliott. Oh, my God, Sam Elliott is still, yeah, Sam Elliott and Brad Pitt. Those were my celebrity crushes. Yeah, so I think that's it. So anyway, it was just a really fun 14 questions, really easy answers, some fun answers. I don't know if it helps you get to know me any better or not, but it's, it was fun answering them. So now I'm supposed to tag three people. So thanks, Etna, for tagging me. You should check out Etna's channel. I will link her below as well. I'm going to uh, do Southern Bells. Um, Southern Bells, is she's a really, it's Wanda and Rebecca Bell. Uh, they are lovely, lovely ladies, but this one's going to be for Wanda, and I'll tell you why in a second. So they do unclothing, boxing, un clothing unboxings, they do some beauty unboxings, and um, she, she's done a few grocery hauls. So just really, really lovely ladies. I think you, if you haven't checked them out, you should. They're just really, really nice people. Um, Rebecca started her own channel not too long ago, so I'm going to tag her for Dole Whip a Day, and I'll tag that below. And she's like a Disney fanatic. Rebecca loves Disney, so her channel is going to be all Disney-related things. She just did like her first bippity box, bippity box. You'll, you'll see it when you get there. It's like a bippity bop, boppity boo or something box and some Disney pens. She also goes into a little bit on her her issues that she had in life. So just a really, really courageous young lady. I think if you give her a chance, you're going to fall in love with her. And also Alicia Martin. Love Alicia. She is uh, the one that really got me started on my weight loss, my fitness goals, and um, starting a journal and things like that. So if you don't like my Play With Me videos, you have Alicia that you should talk to about that because she's the one that got me started on it. So anyway, thank you. Thank you, Alicia. Alicia, she does clothing unboxings and she does some lifestyle unboxings and some beauty boxings. And she's even getting into doing some Hello Fresh and showing us some cooking. So Alicia, she's a wonderful, wonderful lady. She's in California. She's a school teacher. So she's been um, staying at home and kind of keeping safe and stopping the spread. She's from originally from Indiana, so she's just a really, really lovely lady. If you haven't caught her channel before, I hope you give her a chance. She's really, really sweet. Um, so again, I'm going to leave all those ladies below. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to hearing, reading your comments. And if you wanted to tag yourself, I would love to to listen to your 14 answers to these fun questions. And I yeah, hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up. We'll chat again soon, everybody. Bye-bye.